Hello everybody. Today I'm gonna be doing some country driving on this road right here. That I have no idea where it leads, how far, but basically I am driving this Enterprise rental car, Toyota 4Runner, driving it for work. Uh, you can check out my full review and road trip video. But I thought to myself, well, look, I'm kind of in the country. You know, I, I work in Galesburg, Illinois. It's a, <laughs> it's not a big place. And it's got a lot of these fields. Now, you probably wouldn't believe me if I told you that I am about, I'm just about, I don't know, six, seven miles away from the downtown area. Yeah, like this is not, I, I didn't drive like two hours away from the city to be here. And we got a lot of corn, got in some sort of another field. It rained here quite heavily, um, as you can kind of see by this little decline. But anyway, I thought to myself, well, look, this week I'm driving this beast of a car or a truck SUV. It's got good tires. And when will the, la the next time I'll have this opportunity? You know, the weather is nice. It's kind of hot today. When will be when will I have an opportunity to drive this thing in the way it was meant to be driven, which is not on the pavement. You know, it's not over here. You can kind of see I drove <laughs> into the, this is actually a road. I mean, it's on, it's on the map, it's on the GPS and there's a sign there, but this is the kind of road you have out here. And, and there's plenty of them and, and it goes that way too. So, although it's weird, it's not really like an, like a intersection cause it kind of goes to the left. So it, basically it's a road that's been probably here for, for decades, if not more. So I thought to myself, you know, I need to do some, some off-roading. Now, I don't want to go into this field. I have no idea whose field it is. I definitely don't want to drive through this field. I mean, this is destruction of, of, of property. Um, and plus I can get stuck. I mean, this is not a monster truck. I mean, it, it is an SUV that's it's pretty nice and, and protected underneath there too. I mean, I can see some of the skid plates that it has, at least like right here. But at the same time, the last thing I want to do is to call up Enterprise and say, oh, by the way, <laughs> your rental car is in a ditch. Why? Well, that's because I was dumb. So this is probably as close as I'm going to get. Now, there's plenty of cars that drive this, so this is not necessarily a test for the off-road prowess of this 4Runner. But this is as close as I could find, being the the suburb boy of northern Illinois that I am is as close as I could get. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna set this to four high. And you can see right there, it, it turned on. I don't think I will need a four low here. Once again, this is not really anything that a normal car, even a small car can, can get through. I mean, this is, you know, it's not flooded, it's it's just, it's gravel road, and I'm sure plenty of regular cars drive through here. I mean, no car, at least in this time, but we're gonna put this thing in drive. We're gonna see how it is to drive a good old country road. Now, I don't know what I'm expecting for this thing to do. So again, it's a little bumpy. I mean, the, the tires, they, they don't, they barely like it that, Wow, those are some giant insects that came my way. Um, I don't even know how far this thing goes. Surprisingly, GPS does work in, in, in this neck of the woods. It does work. But yeah, I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna get any sort of... Okay, all right. Got a little water here, but <laughs> I mean, I'm going 30. I have no idea if there's a speed limit on this road. I'm sure I'm burning a lot of gas. So look, I I mean, I don't know when I'm gonna post. Oh, there you go, there you go. Okay, <laughs> yeah, that's about as much fun as I can have in this thing. Um, I, you know, by the time I post this uh, video, it'll probably be, I don't know, November, December. But if you guys wanna check out the reviews, you know, check, check out those other videos, so. You know, currently I am, uh, I got a bit of a backlog. Oh, look at that. Okay, there you go. There's some off-roadiness for us. 
Now I'm I'm also watching ahead because I have no idea who has the right of way on this street, <laughs> on this road. Um, some of this stuff is just I mean it's just a field. So, all right, let's see what else what else can we do? Yeah, I mean all this stuff is very it's, it's very light duty. Like I said, you know a car can car can can do this. I'm not getting like I'm not using the full SUV of this SUV to its full potential, but. You know, that's the best I can do. You know, some after work fun in a car that doesn't belong to me. Okay, oh, look at this. So there's a yield sign. So who are we yielding to? I'm not 100% sure. All right, so it's some sort of a intersection here. I don't see anything or anybody. You know, let's go this way. Oh, okay, so that's interesting how it kind of winds up and down. All right, let's see. People live here. Oh, look at this. Look, look what kind of car they own. Bam, it's a forerunner. It's a definitely a forerunner. So so we know and they have some they have a, a a blazer or something like that or trailblazer, I don't know. Okay. So here you go. So we turned. I actually have to go back this way. So we'll we'll check to see what kind of what kind of stuff we have here. Yeah, okay. So I'm right, in, oh, all right, hello. That's interesting. So that's maybe where some of this descent hill control can come in handy. See that? You know, let's test this out. Just curious. Now we're gonna be putting this thing in reverse and I think I did review the backup camera in this thing. No, you know what? It's actually a pretty dumb idea because if somebody's coming up behind me and I'm coming, <laughs> yeah, you know, let's, uh, let's not do that. So let's see. So what happens if I hit this descent control? What happens there? So it blinks, but then what does it do? Do I have to... See, I don't, I don't know how to use any of these features too. Like, I'm, I'm sure I can figure it out, but do I have to, like, maybe put it in neutral? Hold on. No, it didn't beep or anything. Let's see, do I do I stop? No. So I don't know. I don't know what it does. Gi the insects around here are just ginormous. Yeah, like look at that stuff. Just big as freaking birds. Alright, so I don't know what I don't know what this descent control is. Well, I'll leave it on. Maybe at some point it'll do something interesting. But as you can see here, people out here, they do drive Nissan Sentras and they do have their pickup trucks, of course. And I know for a lot of you, this will be like, you know, what are you talking about, dude? This is, this is nothing. <laughs> this is not, you're not, you're not in the middle of nowhere, right? Like you have power lines going through this. <laughs> All right, so here you go. Here you go. So what are, what are we going to do? Is it going to break for us? No. So I just, I just let go of the gas and it's just kind of coasting. There you go, coming up on a hill. You know, I thought that Illinois is pretty flat, but apparently not flat enough. Okay. Uh, you got a rocks flying at you here and there. Look, just miles of corn. That's all you see, corn and more corn. All right. I can imagine that when there's heavy rains like this, this place becomes pretty wild to drive on. But right now, it's pretty nice. And yeah, I definitely don't need my <laughs> my 4x4 control. I'm just probably wasting a lot of gas. <laughs> All right, got a stop sign. Nobody's there. Somebody cutting their grass. All right. Wait, is this paved? Oh, this is paved. That's weird. Why is this paved? Okay, well, that's the best we got. All right, well, we gotta come up to this hill. I'll stop, I'll kind of see what kind of, you know, quote unquote damage we got. And then that's it. All right, yeah, nothing. Nothing here. All right, so let's see. What did all this off-roadiness, what did it do? <laughs> it wasn't very clean to begin with. 
Oh, okay. All right. So splash some water on it. That's about it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it, it, it really didn't do a whole lot. Well, you know, how about this? This is more of a country road that I could ever experience living where I live. So I guess this is pretty much how I can get some fun with this thing. Yep. So, all right, everybody. Well, once again, you know, keep in mind, I'm doing these videos for, for your entertainment, but also for my own entertainment too so oh yeah I guess it's a good shot you see you got a a forerunner we don't have any cars like no like not as I didn't encounter any cars here so I know people live here I mean we saw them living here but I think I guess when driving up here or out here you do have to be careful too because I mean there are no lights uh if okay so here you go there is one truck or car I don't, I can't, yeah of course it's a truck yep so here i don't want to put a camera at their face yep ford f-150 so that's our first vehicle well you guys can't see it because i'm blocking it that passed us so you kind of do have to be careful out here because there's no dividing lines uh you can you can slip i mean i can imagine you can slip and slide all over these roads if if you're not careful or if it's raining um yeah you can kind of see that truck yeah, but other than that, I mean, it's nice and quiet. But yeah, these roads, uh, a normal car could do too. But we get to have some fun. So let's uh, turn this off. Let's, uh, whatever, like I said, this descent, I'm not, I don't know enough about how it works or what to do with it. I, I'm not gonna read the manual. By the way, I did get a manual with this car. It's, it's huge. I mean, there's all sorts of booklets in there, uh, but it's fine. All right, everybody, we'll see you next time. And we are averaging 16 miles per gallon. All right. See ya.